Seeing Diddy seems to be careless about all the allegations of sex trafficking as he steps out shirtless for a smoke and takes a stroll down Waterfront Pier at his $35 million Miami mansion after FBI sex trafficking raids. Diddy was snapped, looking carefree. The rapper, real name Scene Combs, was shirtless as he walked along the same dock where Homeland Security agents had previously been camped out. Combs' Miami home was one of two of his properties swarmed by federal agents last week as part of an investigation into sex trafficking. Investigators also descended on his L.A. mansion, with the music mogul branding the raids as militant. But on Saturday, he appeared barefoot and relaxed as he donned a pair of white shorts to walk around the $35 million Star Island property. At one point, the rapper reappeared sporting a matching white hat along with a huge gold chain, watch and bracelet, and an orange towel slung around his shoulders. But Diddy's laid-back attitude belied the mounting problems he faces, with anonymous sources telling the New York Post that an infamous nightclub shooting for which Combs stood trial for in 2001 might be examined as part of the investigation. Combs was cleared of any wrongdoing in the shooting outside the Times Square Club in Manhattan. At the time, Combs was dating Jennifer Lopez, who was also initially implicated, although no charges against her were filed. Two law enforcement sources told The Post that the incident is likely to be dredged up in this latest sex trafficking probe. Exactly what precipitated the raids on Combs properties on March 25 has yet to be disclosed. However, they came just a month after music producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones filed an explosive lawsuit against the rapper accusing him of serious illegal activity, including sexual assault. Jones's filings were preceded by a lawsuit from Combs' ex-girlfriend, the singer Cassie Ventura. Venture settled with Combs out of court for $30 million after accusing him of beating, raping, and drugging her throughout their relationship. At the time, the feds swooped Diddy was said to be attempting to board his private jet to fly to the Bahamas to spend time with his 17-year-old twin daughters. His alleged drugs, mule Brendan Paul, 25 years was attempting to board with him before he was intercepted by police at a Miami area airport. The former athlete was referred to as Diddy's drug mules in Jones' $30 million lawsuit. The complaint, one of five against Cobb since November, alleged he was involved in acquiring and distributing Mr. Combs' drugs and guns. Whether Paul's arrest was connected to allegations in the lawsuit or to the raids on Diddy's properties was not confirmed. Jones claimed in the lawsuit that he personally witnessed Paul acquire and distribute drugs to Combs and his entourage and transport or intend to transport drugs in baggage on flights. Combs has denied all allegations against him and stated he is the victim of a witch hunt. Aaron Dyer, an attorney for the rapper, broke calm silence just over 24 hours after the Homeland Security investigation with a statement yesterday. There was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs residences. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated, Dyer said. During the raid, two of Diddy's sons were detained to allow agents to execute their warrant as is custom. Subscribe for more news update.